first alert weather is tracking the storm. Snow is still falling steady across the state, including here in the mountains. They could see another foot before the storm moves out. Denver 7 reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is up along I-70 where it's slow going there now, Jen. Eric, there's certainly already a lot of snow out here right now, and the snow is actually falling a lot heavier than it has been. And I got to tell you, within the last hour, we've seen the backups. It looks clear right now, but within the last hour, there was a lot of backups here. This is I-70 right before the Eisenhower Tunnel. This uh, stretch of road was actually shut down this morning due to traffic accidents. And I also want to show you this sign. CDOT has several of these up all along the I-70 Mountain Corridor, warning drivers that traction laws are in effect which means that if you're headed up to the high country, your car must have four-wheel drive or snow tires or chains. And if you don't, if you get caught without snow tires up here, you can actually face more than a $100 fine. If you block the interstate and are found to have bare tires, that could cost you more than $650. Now, I also want to share another interesting fact we learned with all the snow that we're getting. Snowpack levels that feed the Colorado River are actually slightly higher than the long-term average right now. Experts say that could change come spring, but right now it's looking pretty good. Reporting live along the I-70 corridor, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.